And your name is... Newton Faulkner. Your chosen charity... Teenage Cancer Trust. And your chosen subject... The Life and Works of Harry Nilsson. Harry Nilsson. In 90 seconds, here we go. Which song, released by the American singer Harry Nilsson in 1968, was originally written and recorded by Fred Neal and was used as the theme song for the Oscar-winning film Midnight Cowboy? Ah, uh, that was Everybody's Talking? It was. Which 74 Nilsson album was produced by John Lennon? Both he and Nilsson also appeared on the cover. Ah, uh, it was Pussycats. Yep. Which British comedy actor wrote and performed Harry, the opening track of Nilsson's 16th and final album, Flash Harry? Oh, that I don't know. Pass. OK, a song by Badfinger, which Nilsson covered on the Nilsson Schmilson album, reached number one in the singles charts in both England and America and won him a Grammy. What's it called? Uh, Without You. Yes, in the late 50s, Nilsson formed a close harmony duo with a former school friend that lasted into the early 60s. What was the friend's name? Jerry Smith. Yep. In March 67, Nilsson played several songs for a pop group who subsequently recorded his composition, Cuddly Toy. Who were they? How's the Monkeys? Yes. Nilsson originally wanted to call one of his albums God's Greatest Hits, but changed the name to avoid offending people and settled for having a second album cover on the inside with the logo formerly God's Greatest Hits. What's the album called? Uh, that I don't know. Pass, oh, sorry. All right. A song from the album Nilsson Schmilson reached number eight in the American Singles Chart in 72. According to the lyrics of the song, where do you put the lime. In the coconut. You do. Which drummer was credited on Nielsen's 72 album Son of Schmilson as Richie Snare? That uh, was Ringo Starr. Yep. Which 71 children's fantasy film did Nielsen write, narrate and record the soundtrack for? Uh, the Point. Yes. In 75, Nielsen recorded a duet with Cher that was produced by Phil Spector. What was the song? Oh, pass. Well, I can tell you because you're out of time. A love like yours. Ah, didn't know. Don't come knocking every day if you want all the rest of it. Uh, the other two passes, that album that was to be called God's Greatest Hits was in the end called Do It On Monday. And the uh, comedy actor with whom he wrote and performed Harry was Eric Idle. I was Eric. Yeah. However, Newton, you've got eight points. Cool. Thank you very much.